Hey, what's up guys? This is Noah with 100X Mobile and today I will be showing you how to get a tethered jailbreak on your 6.1.3 iDevice. If you just happened to update it and then decided to jailbreak it or it accidentally updated because you had to restore it and have any blobs saved, whatever the case might be, update 6.1.3, one jailbreak, here's your video. Okay, so first what you're going to want to do is download the newest Red Snow 0.9.15 Beta 3, and then once you download it, I'm gonna, we're gonna go to Extras, go to Select IPSW, and what we're gonna want to do is download the iOS 6.0 IPSW. Just look that up on Google, and you'll be sure to find something like this. So once you download it, and you do that, and open. Okay, then what you're going to want to do is click back and click jailbreak. And it'll take a minute or so as it patches the kernel and patches the RAM disk and gets the IP IPSW ready for jailbreak. So, just let you see it in real time here. And then what you're going to want to do is what it'll do on yours. I said it so it won't do this, but what it'll do on yours is when you click on it, it will have install Cydia and enable battery percentage um, checked. But what you're going to want to do is disable enable battery percentage because that might cause problems and, you, and it might cause you have to re jailbreak it. And it's happened to me before. Some people say it's good, some people say it's bad. I say it's bad, so just disable it. And install custom bundle. Don't click on that because it'll just look for tar bundles. So, only have install Cydia and click next. So now, what you want to do is go to your iDevice and you want to hold the home button and the power button together for 10 seconds. And after that 10 seconds, you're going to let go of the power button and hold the home button for another 10 seconds. Until you can see this is. And uploading first stage. You can see. It might take a minute as the first stage completes. And now it's uploading the second stage. And as it gets the second stage, you'll see that your iDevice has started to turn back on. But it'll just be a lit black screen for a little bit until the second stage gets done injecting. Wait for reboot. And now it's uploading the RAM disk. See, on your device, it should show this a little hard drive and then it will go to arbitrary execution and what you're going to want to do during this is this screen will pop up on red snow it'll tell you that what you got to do is tether jailbreak it or tether boot it I don't know and it'll take about and arbitrary will be on for about I don't know f five minutes at most got a slow device five minutes at most and what you can do during this is just go back and you can get ready to tether boot it select your IPSW 6.0 and it'll be refit. okay so you can get ready for that click on just boot but after you click on just boot just leave it right there and then you're gonna wanna Moving your applications. Now, what it's going to do is it's going to stay on this screen for about good three, four minutes at most while it moves your applications from the non-jailbroken portion of your iDevice to the 
jailbroken Parson. So, why not get up, stretch your legs? You've been sitting in your seat for a while, you know? Five minutes. Uh, watch some TV. You know, just do something to pass the time. This will take a little bit, depending on the amount of applications you have on your device. And like I said, I will, I won't shorten this video so you can see exactly how long it takes to jailbreak. Whoa, okay. So, moving. Like I said, this will take a little bit, so you can just do something. I'll quit. I'm sorry guys, I just wanted to show you how long it takes in real time so you can get a feel for it, but this is taking a lot longer than I expected it to. So just keep waiting for a little bit. And if you're wondering, I am filming this with a iPod Touch 4th generation. Got another one right over there. So. Just wait a little bit longer. If you guys want to, you can. If you guys haven't already done it by this point, you can just skip forward in the video. There's, I'm, I'm not gonna be doing nothing except expressing my thoughts. <sighs> There's nothing to do, so you can just skip forward in the video. <sighs> or if you want to, just watch me videotape this iPod forever then be my guest waste those minutes of your life <sighs> just gonna there we go for all of you who are still here you can watch me get some video games on here Okay, here we go. So once it's finished moving the application, it's going to go to installing bundles, which will be it's installing 7-zip, it's, it's accessing the hierarchy, and then it's going to start rebooting. And there we go. What it's going to do is it's going to semi-tether reboot, which means that the jailbreak, you won't be able to use Cydia. Cydia won't be on there yet. So that's where the tether boot comes in. And that's going to be in my next video because I am running out of space on my iPod here. So if you guys want to watch it, it's going to be right after this. I'm just going to stop my iPod and resume filming right after that. So not you guys aren't going to miss a thing. So peace out. This is Noah with 100X Mobile. and. Give me some feedback. Thanks.